Hello everybody, this is Alan Lordieri, and I'm here to talk about reasons why not buy the Titanium 125 Flux Core Welder. First, I'm going to just start off with the most prominent reason that I think that everybody's going to need this. And before I get into this, I am nothing in any shape or form, presumably of a welder, or person that does that for a profession. Or actually is just flat out overskilled at it. I've only been at it since I bought this, and that's only been about three weeks. But the first and foremost reason why I think that everybody should have one of these is at one point or another, you're going to need the ability and also the skill set to join metal. Okay, that is when it is impractical to use any kind of fasteners or anything like that. And a good example of that is basically what you see here today. This is a Harbor Freight cheap welding cart. I saw a really neat mod video on how to get a little bit more out of this. This thing is less than $30 or 30 if you can catch it on sale at the right time. And uh, here's the thing. The project called for a piece of all thread to make a new axle for these uh, wheels that actually have bearings in them. But guess what? Didn't have it. But here we go. We're going to make our little axle by joining these bolts together. Of course, eliminating that head, aligning them properly, and then welding it in there, and then also welding on some other things, some hooks, and also a... Uh, a, uh, a handle to pull this thing around with. Things like $179. And you can develop the skill set with it. It's fairly inexpensive to operate. It runs off your regular household. Well, as long as you're running um, your 20 amp breaker, this thing does absolutely fine. I would suggest you get rid of the wire that comes with it because it's garbage and buy you some Lincoln. You don't have to have no shielding gas. The flux core is what it is. It has the flux built in it. This thing is 15 pounds. 15 pounds. I took this thing into my little tiny car and went to the mine site and, and worked on stuff at the mines with it. It's very easy to get around. Uh, one thing I wish, a quick design note. For God's sakes, why didn't it come with a handle? Gonna probably add one on there, but anyway. Another thing is, yes, this thing can actually handle fairly sturdy pieces of metal and make them structural. I'm not to the point where I'm overly confident that I'm gonna build a vehicle and go down the road with it, but I'm learning. So a quick recap here. What I would love to know arguments against purchasing this. You could probably get it for around $179. They're actually starting to be available in stores. It's lightweight. You don't need shielding gas. It does a good job with the proper wire. You can learn on it. I honestly, it can, it can work on dirty metal. You don't have to prep as much. I honestly would like to, mainly purpose of this video is I just want to see some counters to this. I want to see what people would think would be probably a better alternative, or I'm just not seeing it, honestly. Got a bit of a handle thing working here. Now, I can tell you what, this is a very thin gauge metal, and I had to really turn this welder down um, and just kind of basically uh, stitch it. But, well, the handle's on. Okay, so here we are. This little cart, rock cop, ready to rock. So, yeah, and again, it'd be very hard to do this with just fasteners. Uh, I mean, it's just one of these things, it's just one of these tools that you have to have. Honestly, if you do enough stuff around the house, things break, things need to be modified. Plus, hell, it's just a little fun. But, that's pretty much it. Why I think you should have the Titanium 125 Flux Core Welder. Argue that one. I'm out.